Hey YouTube, getting the operative here again. Um, so I've been working on my long shot mod, my single wing long shot, or single long shot, and uh, I got my Busby double shot. So I was able to cut the stock off. I will not cut the stock off. The stock just unscrews off. Um, but then you have to cut it so it fits on here nicely, and I glued it on. It's a really, really nice fit. It's really smooth. And it's on there really sturdily. I used super glue and hot glue. Um, but I'm kind of bummed because uh, when I, I got the Busby Double Shot yesterday, it was Wednesday, and I said in my last video that it was going to be here probably by Friday, and it came two days early, so I was excited. Um, I filmed the unboxing video of unboxing the gun, but for some reason the video on my camera got like corrupted or something, and it won't load onto my computer. So, uh, once I figure that out, I'll put it on YouTube, but for now, I don't have that video. But, uh, yeah, I do have the stock, and I can show you all the rest of the gun, which is just the front of the gun, which is all this stuff. Um, this is the whole front of the barrel, and then <clears throat> this is the, the two air chambers with springs inside them. And it goes on basically like that with the rest of the stock coming off the back. But this is all the internal stuff. And this string is how you prime it, because when you bend it, it pulls the string, which... It pulls back both these plunger tubes. Yeah, so... That would fit right on it here. But, yeah, that's how it works. So, uh... Yeah, I just felt like saying that. But I was able to, today, which is Thursday, put this stock on it. And... Uh... I just put Stefan's in it to, they're blanks, they don't have anything in them yet, but just to see how many I could fit in there. I can fit 16 in here, <coughs> they, they fit in there pretty nicely, and then I can fit 4 over here. So about a max of like 20 at a time, which is pretty nice. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to paint this, show you what it looks like painted, and um, actually right now I have the foregrip, it's actually not glued on, as you can see, it's wobbly. It's only attached right now because I attach this, I'm going to twist that off, and the foregrip can come off, because I unglued it. I just took all the hot glue off, and the super glue I kind of used to crowbar to pry it off, but anyways, I took this off, one, so I could show it to you as a separate little thing, construction, so you can see kind of how I did it. I made this, and then I glued it on there, but, um, yeah, I'm just going to re-glue it on as well today in this video because um, I want to glue it on and make it more stable. So that's what I've got for you today. Once I do that, the gun will be done. <coughs> I'm just waiting to be able to go to Home Depot or some other supply store or hardware store um, within hopefully the next couple of days to get some supplies to uh, finish making some Steffens. So, yeah, I'm going to glue this on, paint this, and then I'll show it to you. So keep watching! Okay YouTube, back again. Um, I just spent about an hour, hour and a half uh, attaching, or not attaching, painting the stock because I already attached it. Um, so here it is. Uh, like I said in my last video, it's blue here and along the whole rest of the stock. Uh, silver on the lid. I actually put a little bit of black here, which I just figured it'd be a, a little neat, creative thing to do. And then these this, these bolt things are also blue. Um, I'm really happy how clean it turned out because I was able to... Basically what you do is you unscrew the bolts and that's how you take the lid off. And I uh, painted the bolts separately and then screwed them back in. So, worked out well. Um, yeah, the only thing I have to do now is the foregrip is still uh, not glued on. And then, yeah, this turned out really well, though. I'm really happy with the stock. Um, this opens. It's still a little bit tacky, so it's going to be a little bit hard to do. There we go. Oh, yeah, wow. That just scratched up. Well, as you can see, it's tacky. I shouldn't have done that. Uh, I'll repaint it. <laughs> wow. Well, anyways, you get the idea. That's how it works. Yeah, I gotta repaint it and then keep this lid open so that way it dries. Um, and then the last thing that I have to show you, I did some work with the sight system. 
as you can see the site right there um, I changed it a little bit from the last video I made it look a little bit more like an iron sight from the carbine since that's the name of my gun I figured I would make the sight look a little bit like how the rear sight of the carbine looks the M1 carbine out of it. So, I'm going to get behind the camera and show you a close-up of the rear sight. Okay, so, this is it. Basically, it's all silver now, and it's cool because it's, like, nice and shiny, and it's got... I've just built up on this with some plastic, and then you have... Yeah, that. So, there's, like... It's, like, an actual sight now. Okay, let me move the camera away from the table so I can show it to you from this way. Um, yeah, so that's what the front of it looks like. And then the back of it, it looks really nice too. I'm going to see if I can... Yeah, I'm going to take the camera off the tripod so I can show you really nicely of how it turned out. Give me a sec. There we go. Okay, so here's the site. That's how it is. I just painted the whole thing silver and put the sides on it, which makes it look really sweet. And then you look down the sights. And that's what the site looks like. It's really nice. And then I don't know if I'll be able to get it to focus on the front sight. There we go. I can't, I'm not sure if I'll be able to get it halfway in between so you can see what it looks like when you're actually aiming. Close enough. So that's, yeah, that's that's basically what it looks like. You match the orange sight in the front with the silver sight in the back. And that's what it looks like. So yeah, and then let it focus again, if I can get it to focus. Well, you get the idea. So. Yeah, that's my side system. I actually think it turned out really nice. It looks pretty sweet. I really, really like this bolt gun metal color. It's really sick. So, uh, yeah, this is <clears throat> obviously, like I've been saying, my new primary, and I'm really happy it's my new primary because it's just such a sick gun. So, yeah, that's the complete version. The only thing I'm going to do now once I finish this video is repaint the part in the stock where I just scratched it up from opening the lid. And uh, I have to still glue on the foregrip thing. And then it'll be completely done. So I'm really, really happy with it. If you have any questions, send me a comment or a PM, and I'll be glad to get back to you. Thanks. Catch you later.